In this video, we will add our bottom navigation bar on the bottom of our screen. Let's start that by going inside the main page dot dart and in the scaffold. So in this one, we will create the bottom navigation bar with the bottom app bar like this. Inside, we will need a child and a row. So this row will have multiple icon button inside. We will add the children like this, and I will format document. Okay, next step. So we have the bottom app bar, the argument child, the row uh, widget with the argument child children, and we can put things inside this one. We will add, first of all, the icon button. So we will select this one. Okay, the icon argument will be the uh, widget icon. So I will come control space, icon like that. And then inside this one, we can use the icon data, icons dot, and we can select one of them right here. Okay, which one we are going to select is the home first. So we'll select the home. We will add a num press. I will remove this to put the empty function and I will format document. I will put the comma for and there as well and format document once again. I will put this on the side with the control B because we have more place uh, to see. And after we will need other button. So I will copy this one and I will paste it five times. So we will have five button at the end. So two, three, four, five format document. That's good. Next icon will be the search like this. Okay, after that, we have the on-demand video, on-demand video, this one. We can add the card travel, card travel. And then we can add as well the, uh, the last one will be the icon of our profile. So for now, we can say uh, on this one, person, like that, good. As you can see, all icons are pretty uh, tied up. So we'll put some spacer between. Let's add this over the icon button. Let's add a spacer widget. So we already know what it is. We will copy this one and we will paste it between each icon button like this. So I will, I will add one of them between and after each of them. As you, after what will happen is we will have something like this. I will restart the application because we have a little uh, two icon very, very close. And I wonder why. Okay, so we have this. Oh, we miss one right here. This is why. Okay, this is way better now. Okay, next step, what we will need to do is add a color on this icon. Okay, we can do that. We can add uh, so we will have only icons inside this part of the app. That's mean we will add inside icon button icon. We can add a color so we can say color and the color we will use will be colors dot pink like this. Good. We can change this color to maybe have a color for Instagram, maybe a better color. I will use the, this one, let's say, I will say colors dot R G B O. And we will use the 203, 73, 101 and one. So look at this color. It's a little bit better for the Instagram. Okay. We have something right here. Now what we will need to do is to create the homepage, like all this. In this video, we have created the bottom navigation bar. Uh, maybe we could add, just to finish this one, the button to press. So when we press on this one, we go on this page and on this page. Let's add this to finish. So uh, before the build, we will say um, current page equal to zero. And this is an int. So that means it's a number. And we will say, if the number is zero, so right here, before the color, we will say uh, color uh, current page 
equal equal zero. So if it is zero, then put this color. Otherwise, in the other case, put the color dot RGBO. Oops, I missed something. Color with a capital letter dot RGBO. And we will use the 40, 40, 41. I will format document. And now, as you can see, the icon is pink because uh, it is the zero item. We will add the same logic for the second button. Control C. And then I will go inside the second icon right here. And I will add the color. I will format document. Perfect. Now, as you can see, we have both of them color because this second one, the search icon, need to be current page is equal to one. Good. Okay. Next step is to change the color. So we will go inside the unpress button of the home and we will say set state. So like this. And when we press on this, the current page will be equal to the item. So because home is the first item, so we will say zero. But we will copy this function and we will paste it on the second button. And we will say when we press on the search bar, the current item will be equal to one. This will rebuild everything with the set state because it will rebuild. The current page will have a new value and then the other button will be called on this color. As you can see, it worked perfectly well. But we have a little problem is when we click on the other one, nothing happened. But it's not really a problem because in this course, we will do only the home page and the search page. Good. So that was it for this video. We have uh, built the bottom navigation bar. And in the next video, what we will do is we will create uh, the home page or more about the Instagram app. So see you on the next video. Bye.